Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Bo with Bo's Bargains. Remember to hit that bell button anytime I upload a video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. I mainly do Dollar Tree hauls um, because I love a bargain. I love finding name brand items from the Dollar Tree. And I scored big time today. Yes, I did. I did a Dollar Tree haul with you guys on Saturday and today is Monday and I have a snow day from school, even though we're virtual learning, it's a day off for a snow day <clears throat> today. Um, and I found some really great things. The first thing I'm gonna show you guys, something my son wanted, he wanted these little from Cracker Square. Oh my gosh, they have redone my local DT um, in the Cracker Square section. They have put up the rows of like rub-ons and stickers and a whole section. They've added new uh, wooden um, crafts um, to do like the wood palettes and the frames and the little miniature snakes and fish and sharks to paint. They've done all sorts of things in the Crafter Square section. And I've picked up a lot of things here um, in the last couple months from them. Um, beans that I do bullet journaling and um, like doing stickers with my bullet journaling and I've also do a weekly I have my planner that I do a weekly planner <clears throat> do I keep track things with school with my own um, appointments and stuff and then my son's appointments and I also track um, food that he eats due to some headache issues. So I picked up in the Crafter Square section, I'm just so amazed. They have these mini glass containers. They're so miniature. They're like, I don't know what he's gonna use them for, but hey, there's five that comes in a pack and they're by the Crafter Square. Um, and then they carry these fabric fashion face covers. And I've already picked up a couple myself that I have. Um, they're size adults, but they have some in the children uh, as well. You can wash in warm water and hang dry. Um, <clears throat> they're not intended for medical protection, just it's fabric fashion. So I'd always wear like a disposable mask underneath of it or another face mask that's kind of plain. But I picked up, oh my gosh, I think this is in the package upside down. I think it is. But how cute is this? They have little hearts on them like upside down. So I got two of those to go to my um, bonus daughters uh, for Valentine's Day with their Valentine's Day gift. So I got them that. And then I found this awesome bandana print one that was like hot pink. I love it. They had red, they had blue, they had all kinds of ones for, for females that I've gotten in the past. Um, the other thing that I was telling you guys about um, Crafter Square in that section, they had these hanging up on an end cap, on the plastic end caps, with like in between the sticker section and then like the coloring books and like little crossword puzzle books and Sudoku and dot to dot, all those kind of stuff. I picked up. Um, it says paper crafts, but really I think it's for um, agendas. There's 58 pieces in this, but it's for your planner agenda. It's got like a day off, today, payday, arrows to do, dots, little like flag things for this week, reminders, ha hey, you rock, um, document if you need to turn in a document. And they're kind of like shiny, like around the edges. So that drew my attention because um, every week I do different ones. And then they have these ones too, those 58 piece that are fun, amazing to do today. Remember important, keep it simple, shine bright, just be happy. They're more the spring, they have the butterflies on them and the flowers. So I picked these up from the DT today to go for my planner. This week I have the ones that have the, um, the llama ones and Wednesdays have my to do but this is like you can see how I do my daily weeks I do my weeks with stickers um, so like next week I have the ones that came with the llamas I had some cactus ones there so you guys can see so I love the stickers for my um, weekly 
agenda planner. Um, the other thing that I found in the craft section, I've already gotten um, my mother her sunflowers so I can make her pineapple sunflower wreath to go on her front door. And then today I found this farmhouse rib ribbon. So in like the floral garden section, um, but it was in the craft section. It's nine feet, five eight, eight inches wide by 108 inches long. Oh my God, gorgeous. I'm just lo in love. It's a navy blue background with a sunflower print. So I'm gonna add that near the top of it. So I got two of those. Um, that was my cat who did that. <laughs> he knocked the tin, and I have this sitting stability like holder for my phone, and yeah, he knocked it over. Um, also in Crafter Square, <clears throat> I got the rub on transfers. Um, they have these roses, roses perfume, looks like little envelopes with flowers, teacups, butterflies, um, looks like these heart necklaces and some birds, very vintage like, very vintage like. So I can add these in my bullet journal if I wanted to, or um, you can put these on boxes, you can put these on, anything you could put them on wood you could rub it on if you had like a complete design that you wanted to do rub them on some paper and put it in a picture frame as a decorative uh, piece for around your house so i thought this was pretty cool and they're so pretty i mean look, look at the little fountain pen with the letter and then the little jewels the birds the roses the, i love this the little rub on um letter with the flowers so I picked that up. Also, they have things coming out with um, books. Um, this is the time of year that they have a lot of their books coming out and I've already showed some that I picked up the other day. But in the card section in the Valentine's Day card, I just fell in love with this card. Um, I mean, look how gorgeous that with the gold on it. I mean, happy Valentine's Day. This is for me to give to my parents for Valentine's Day this year. Just really pretty. And here's a little message sent with love. I'll probably mail it to them or just give it to them. So I picked that up too. Let's see, what else did I get? Oh, book section. So I was told you they, they've been having a lot of children's thin hardback books. And this book retailed for $15.99 and I got it for a dollar. Lenore Finds a Friend. Uh, it's based on a true story from Bedlam Farm by John Katz. So I picked this up and I'm going to give it to my nephew um, when he gets a little bit older. Um, but my son and I will probably read this through. Um, dogs and and little sheep becoming, becoming friends. And then I found this one. The Ambitious Decisions. What women know about work Family and the Path to Building a Life by Hannah Shank and Elizabeth Wallace. So it looks like this. Here's the spine if you want to see what it looks like. And this book retailed for $26. I got it for a dollar. So I'm interesting to read this because it talks about ambition, marriage, a career, um, change, economics, parenting. So I'm just interested to see this, um, see what this book is all about. Um, so those are the only two books I picked up today that I found and I went through. I've got another book in the past. Now, the rest of my haul is based on um, makeup products, skincare products, or hair care products. Um, I showed you guys <clears throat> these two by Broadway Colors, um, the matte lip lacquer. I showed these to you, the ones that I purchased the other day, these two. This was uh, called number four called Pink Drop. Um, I I'm gonna swatch these for you because I found some more today, more colors. 
and I'll do a swatch video with with this with all the ones that I've hauled in the last couple days and this one I love it's called top selection it's number five um, this is out of the ones I've gotten these two that I've got this is my favorite um, this not so it was like my face color I won't be saving this I'll give this my um, bonus daughter stepdaughters want it they they can have it I'll let them have it but I'll swatch them on my hands with the others so these are other three colors that I found today um, this is what the packaging looks like it comes like this it's called matte lip lacquer by Broadway colors down the sides the blue um, these originally I looked them up they originally go for three dollars on their website it's not a DT product and it also tells you that it is good for 12 months I don't know if you could see that there it's kind of focusing or not but it tells you 12 months um, there and this color is called it's number seven it's called grape jello I'm interested to see what this one looks like then I picked up this one and this one's called Juliet it's a little bit darker like I said and they are packaged very good um when you open it up it's got a whole plastic piece around it and then a sticker piece um, like this on the inside that you have to twist it off and then the last one I got is number 10 It's called Woodberry and then the uh, this other one was number nine Juliet was number nine and um, grape jello was number seven so I didn't get number six or number eight because I didn't see them so woodberry so I'm interested I'll open these up and take all the packaging off and I'll swatch I'll do a video on swatching them and let you see them because I have some more I'm gonna swatch too for you guys that I found today as well um I found some wet and wild you got it all, all burned fills and defines your brows so this is ultimate brow mascara for your eyebrows which I definitely need to add some to these because they're very thin um, so this is ultimate brow mascara bow to the brow this is what it looks like so you can see there's all burned it's a brown so I'm interested to try this I'm excited about that and then I found um, Eyes on the prize by flower love the way you look um, my um, best friend has gotten me two of the lip um, sticks this is a silky tint of color powder soft finish it's eyeshadow it's chubby the color is daffodil with it EC1 eyes on the prize so this is eyeshadow it's chubby so it's like just rub on really like this color I think a subtle color I usually wear blues and purples and pinks because of my brown eyes but sometimes I go for the all-natural look and just a subtle color is really good now wet and wild wet and wild these things I'm pretty sure go for a few dollars in Walmart and Target and whatever they had these wet and wild mega last liquid lip color and I'm loving these colors I found. They just have the little hanger on the top, but this is what they look like. Okay, so you guys can see. That's what they look like. Hanging, and they're just hanging. You you, you really got to look at the makeup section because they're just, they are hanging on a hook. And you really have to careen and, and use your eyes to hide and seek these things just hanging up. So I got four different colors that I am going to swatch for you guys in my video. And they are the ones I found and they all have some shine to it. I really like this mauve color because I like mauve and berry colors. This one is called Pocket Full of Roses. Pocket Full of Roses. It's got the name right here too. I'm pretty sure these things go for like three or four dollars or $2.99 in Walmart and Target and CVS um, in the stores you could probably find them but mega last liquid lip color pocket full of roses this one 
is called Do I Make You Blush? That's more of like a pinkish color. And I like these dark colors too. Um, this one is called Raising the Roof. I really like that. I probably will like that because it's like a dark mauvey color. And this one is called Iris I Was Rich. Iris. Iris, I was rich. So probably for I wish I was rich. And that's a pretty like brownish color. So I'm going to swatch them too in the video. Open these up and swatch these two and um, let you know which one I like best. Um, the other things that I've picked up. And the other two, um, Elf, Elf products. You know where they are. The other two, I got these um, a, a little while back. And I just now opened these. I'll swatch these so you guys can see these. Um, Elf, they're the the lipstick. This is classy. So that's the color. So pretty. So I'll swatch these as well. And this one is sociable. And it's more like a reddish color. I really like this too that color and then in hair care products I've heard everybody talk about the SGX NYC well my DT got them a while ago back in December and I've been using um, the whip mousse the so whipped this is what they look like yes I've been using this all the month of December um, when I don't brush out or dry my hair or just go on a day's old clean hair and brush out my curls and let it be a little bit frizzy. I didn't put any frizz control in it today. I just kind of said whatever, I'll let it go today. But I've been using this So Whipped SGX NYC Whip Mousse. Frizz free curls, weightless hold, long lasting styles. I'm gonna tell you, this works and for a dollar. I've not looked up to see how much it is. I know other people have, but I love this. So I already have one can. This is my second can. They also have the finishing spray, medium hold, under control, um, resist humidity, control spreads, clean scent. Um, so, you know, it's SGX NYC. Yes, the hairspray. So I only got one of them. Um, and in December, what I did was I picked up one of each of these <clears throat> along with some other uh, Garnier Fructis. They have the liquid putty. I got the light hold, the medium hold, and then they had another one for like a strong hold. I picked up those five things that would have cost me probably anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks in the stores, maybe even more. And I gave that as a gift set to my hairdresser and she absolutely loved it. And I've been using the Garnier Fructis um, liquid putty and the medium and the light hold and they hold my curls just as good as the whip mousse. So I really love them. Okay, so more facial products that I got um, today um, are some of the face masks and hair masks. Okay, so here is the hair mask by John Frieda Wonder Drops Damaging Repair. I've been using this on the ends, and this is what it looks like. They had a couple other different kinds, but this is the kind that I tried in December. I love this, um, and it just, you're able to, it, you're able to just brush right through your hair after you shower and kind of use a comb and then brush it through with a brush, but it's powerful. It says, with this powerful damage repairing hair mask infused with vitamin E oil, begin to transfer damage, breakage prone hair into a stronger restored style. So it just says, use on days when your demanding hair needs a boost. So you just squeeze out the extra moisture after you shampoo. Um, you massage this into your roots evenly, leaving, leaving it on for about five minutes and rinse it. I love this. I, this has repaired my hair my split in so I love this and then I picked up some Freeman um, beauty masks the revitalizing peel off mask pomegranate and peptides 
instantly boosts radiance, increases resiliency, and refines your pores. And when I see these, these are name brand, y'all. I pick them up. Um, yes, this is the one. This is what the pomegranate one looks like. I've not tried this one. I tried one of the ones that I got um, as a Christmas gift with a peel-off mask um, that was like the had glitter in it. And I tried that just on my cheeks, my chin last night. OMG, my skin is feeling so soft in that area versus up here. I didn't do it up here and it, it feels dry up here. Oh, but my face, my cheeks and my chin feel so soft today. This is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Brightening Sheet Mask with Seaweed and Pearl. It's for all skin types, it looks like this. So I picked that one up. The Free Freeman Beauty Infusion Cleansing Sheet Mask with Charcoal and Probiotics instantly boosts pur purity and cleans your pores. It's a sheet mask. This is what it looks like. So I picked that up. And then they also have these. And they have several kinds by L'Oreal. L'Oreal has also been um, doing these uh, dry shampoos. I've seen everybody haul them. I haven't found them yet at my DT. My DT is a little bit behind. Today when I walked down the um, <laughs> aisle to get to the crafts and um, it also has like some socks on one end and the hair like bows and ponytail holders and combs and brushes. That aisle was full of boxes to ready to be unboxed and um, shelved and so, and then one aisle over is the hair care products and makeup and stuff. This is the L'Oreal Paris Ever Pure Sulfate Free Deep Moisture Hydration Hair Sheet Mask Steam Treatment. Five minute hair spy for dry hair. I think I would have to try this out. This is what it looks like for a dollar, y'all, a dollar. This is probably a few dollars in Walmart or Target. And it shows you the steps on how to do it how to do it, how to go through the process of doing this sheet mask on your hair. I might have to do this tonight, see how it works. Um, it's got aloe blossom in it, but they had a few different kinds. This is the only one that I bought. Um, so that is it for my DT haul today. Um, not quite a lot, um, but, uh, feeling pretty good about it. I'm really excited to do my other video for you guys with the um, Broadway colors, the matte lip lacquer, the swatches on my hand and show you. I'm going to unpackage that and the wet and wild ones too. I'll do that as well and I'll also swatch the elf ones um, so you can see them too. Um, but I'm just excited. Excited about all my DT finds today. Thanks for hanging out. I know it's kind of long. I hope you guys have a wonderful, magnificent fun day, Monday um, and have a fabulous week. Bye.